yes, it's Comedy Up Late coming at you live from the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Thank you, I agree. And that's the noise of the times we're living in. I've had a weird go of it. I uh, had to borrow money from my mom this year. Anyone here ever have to borrow money from their parents? Yeah, yeah, thank you for the honesty. Usually you get a very concerned silence, but people actually wooed. Woo, yeah, living off them. I'm 40 years old. I got a ponytail and a car and I do not give a fuck. For those of you who've never borrowed money from your parents, here's what happens. You go to your parents and you go, hey, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed. And that comes with a hefty fine. So I got the money from my mom. I needed it for essentials like food and rent. And I felt so bad. I don't know why I told you what essentials were. You know, food, rent, and methamphetamine. So I borrowed money from my mom, and I, so, I felt so bad borrowing the money from my mom, I decided to give it back to her. That's how much white privilege I have. Yeah, yeah, I got white privilege. White privilege is interesting. Whenever you mention having white privilege, that's the energy that's created. Because here's the thing with white privilege. No matter how you tell people, it makes them uneasy. Having, admitting to having white privilege is sort of like telling people you own a pool. No matter how you do it, it does seem like you're bragging. <laughs> For example, hey John, what happened last week? Oh, last week it was terrible. Three squirrels drowned in my pool. <laughs> so I met my mom to give the money back. One of those coffee shops you've all been to, you know what I mean? Barista has a neck tattoo. I like progress. I'm old enough to remember time was you saw someone with a neck tattoo, you thought, ooh, I'm gonna see a dead body now. <laughs> now you see someone with a neck tattoo and all you think is, oh, this latte is gonna be fucking amazing. <laughs> I love those coffee shops filled with eccentric weirdos. The women are wearing shirts that could be tarps. The men are wearing jeans so tight you could see their asshole from the front. <laughs> I was in line at one of these places once and there was a couple in front of me and the woman turned to the man and the woman just said, if I were an ice cream flavor, which flavor would I be? And the man, without thinking, just said, stuffed crust. <laughs> Do you know how insane that is? There is no way you say ice cream flavor and someone hears type of pizza. And there is no such thing as stuffed crust ice cream. I've Googled it and nothing comes up. Do you know how disconcerting it is to be staring at an empty Google page? Knowing that you thought of something porn hasn't gotten to yet. So I take my mom for coffee. We're sitting at the table. We're sipping our flat whites or lattes, or whatever coffee you have in the country you're listening to this in. <laughs> I saw him in Holland, it's just an empty glass with the words, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just sat there, and I just mean to go, Mom, I know you loaned that, me that money, and I really appreciate it, but I can't accept it. It makes my heart feel heavy. And she put her hand out, and she said, John, do not worry, it's a symbol of love, and I respect you, and I want you to have it. Of course you'll pay it back, which really took away some of the nicety of her message. <laughs> I appreciate you, go with it, and don't worry. I just have one more question. Did that couple say stuffed crust? 